Who would win in a fight? An experienced fighter pilot at the controls of an F-35, or an uncrewed platform flown by AI with just a few weeks training? This demonstration is two human pilots, experienced fighter pilots, against AI-controlled aircraft which on the screen down there, the blue aircraft are the AI controlled and the red is myself and Tau. And it certainly feels like, you know, the future is, uh, is here and being demonstrated um, today. Wing Commander Stu Campbell is a former F-35 pilot with 22 years experience. He and Tau Planche, a former French jet pilot, have been taking on Centaur, an AI pilot designed by the European manufacturer Helsing. I guess the thing to stress is this is really early days and you know it's this this model has been taught at an unclassified level for three days if you think what that could turn into in five ten years time uh, you know you you'd hope that actually by that point um, I, I don't think we'll be able to compete in the same uh, playing field. AI agent activated right on top. And Centaur has already taken the controls of a real fighter jet the high-tech Swedish Saab Gripen E during live test flights over the Baltic. Helsing claim their AI pilot can learn as much in one week as a human pilot could pick up in over a hundred years. This technology can transform air power and transform how it's, how it's delivered. There's a lot of emphasis on autonomous collaborative platforms. It's not just about them being affordable, about easily manufacturable, it's also about what capability they can provide, how they can change the force mix of your combat air in terms of the numbers, most importantly, protect those pilots where there may be some missions where you want the autonomous asset to go ahead and to operate on its own and where you would not want to put the human in harm's way. So is this the end for RAF pilots? I think today's pilots should be really pleased that um, if, if AI can do the job better and we want to win and survive, why would we not embrace it? Uh, I firmly believe there will always be a position for pilots, whether that's recreationally or whether that's in unique taskings or perhaps even you know, commercially. I think there'll still be some military uses as well, but without a doubt, you know, this is going to be part of the future and the sooner we embrace it, the, the sooner we get ahead of, of other nations doing that. Platforms like Centaur want to demonstrate what AI can do right now, not in the distant future or even in a month's time, but from today. The public may not like the idea of driverless cars, much less fighter jets without human pilots. Changing the 20. But increasingly, this technology is being embraced by allies and industry. And if the UK fails to get on board, it risks being left behind and outpaced by growing enemy threats. Rosie Layden, BFBS Forces News, London. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.